this video I will be taking the gate previous year problems from the chapter or subject IC engine okay before uh, taking on this first question let me give you a brief insight about the uh, changing pattern in gate like from uh, the year 2014 what we have seen is the trend is uh, changing gradually like along with the preparation of the basic subjects like fluid mechanics and uh, basic thermodynamics now what is happening that you need to put same amount of effort in their applications part also like IC engines RAC power plant engineering because uh, the questions from these uh, subjects are expected every year now and uh, I must suggest you that to survive this cutthroat competition you have to prepare these subjects thoroughly okay so uh, let's take on this first question uh, in an air standard auto cycle air is supplied at 0 0.1 mega Pascal and 308 Kelvin okay uh, ratio of specific heats gamma is 1.4 it's given specific gas constant is also given in joule per kilogram Kelvin remember to take care of the units uh, if the compression ratio is 8 the maximum temperature in the cycle is 2660 Kelvin uh, which happens after the heat addition in the cycle the heat in kilojoule per kilogram supplied to the engine okay so let's draw a rough PV diagram this is a constant volume process oh. to draw this graph here is, is very difficult and I guess you are uh, you must be understanding this is isentropic compression this is constant volume these are constant volume processes and this is isentropic expansion okay uh, so it's a bit difficult to draw here so one two three four constant volume heat addition this we have to find okay what we know is we know P1 is equal to 0 0.1 mega Pascal what we know is T1 is 308 Kelvin okay and we have to find Q supplied Q supplied in kilojoule per kilogram so Q supplied will be CV Delta T what will be Delta T Delta T will be T3 minus T2 do we know T3 yes we know T3 that is 2660 Kelvin okay because the maximum temperature in the cycle will be after the heat addition I've told you earlier what is T2 do we know T2 no we don't know T2 what is CV we also don't know CV CV can be found out by this formula CV is equal to R upon gamma minus 1 that is why R is also given and gamma is also given put the values you will get CV is equal to 722 joule per kilogram Kelvin okay because R is in joule per kilogram Kelvin great now we have to find T2 we have been given T1 we have been given gamma and we know this is an isentropic compression so T1 V1 raised to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to T2 V2 raised to the power gamma minus 1 okay do we know the compression ratio yes we know the compression ratio compression ratio is 8 that is V1 by V2 is 8 this is compression ratio okay put the value here gamma is 1.4 you will get T2 is equal to approximately 707.59 Kelvin yeah so now you have CV T3 T2 put the value here Q supplied will be 1409.64 kilojoule per kilogram I have directly written the answer in kilojoule per kilogram however when you will put the values you will get Q supplied in joule per kilogram convert it in kilojoule per kilogram okay next question a diesel engine has a compression ratio of 17 
and cutoff takes place at 10% of the stroke key line assuming a ratio of specific heats gamma <coughs> as 1.4 the air standard efficiency in percent is what is the formula for the air standard efficiency 1 minus 1 upon r raised to the gamma minus 1 how do you remember this formula this part is taken from the auto cycle okay this you remember what you do is right here rho minus 1 in the denominator rho minus 1 in the numerator multiply it with gamma and write here gamma this is how you remen remember this uh, formula efficiency for the diesel cycle okay now r is given as 17 nice gamma you know 1.4 what you have to find you have to find this cutoff ratio rho okay let's draw a pv diagram of the diesel cycle this is constant pressure process okay this is constant volume isentropic compression one two three four okay so r this is v1 by v2 okay and what is cutoff ratio cutoff ratio is v3 by v2 okay now we have been given that cutoff takes place at 10% of the stroke. Cutoff. This cutoff takes place at the 10% of the stroke. Stroke is V1 minus V2. So can I write this V3 minus V2 is 10%, that is 0.1% of V1 minus V2. Okay from this line I can interpret this thing that the cutoff which takes place at 10% of the stroke is equal to V3 minus V2 which is equal to 0 0.1 times the stroke V1 minus V2 okay so now uh, we know V1 by V2 is 17 so v1 is 17 times v2 this is 17 times v2 this is v2 so this becomes 1.6 v2 okay and that implies v3 becomes 2.6 v2 what is rho rho is v3 by v2 so rho becomes 2.6 now you have r you have gamma you have rho put all the values in this formula get the answer as 0 0.596 but be careful you have to fill the answer in percentage so that will be 59.6 percent approximately okay uh, next question in a compression ignition engine CI engine the inlet air pressure is 1 bar pressure at the end of the isentropic compression is 32.42 bar expansion ratio is 8 gamma is 1.4 the air standard efficiency again write efficiency diesel 1 up minus 1 upon r raised to the power gamma minus 1 what you have to do is write rho minus 1 here rho minus 1 in numerator gamma here and multiply this with gamma this term with gamma okay expansion ratio is it now be careful that you have been given the expansion ratio not the compression ratio okay so expansion ratio is it that is okay let's draw a PV diagram of the diesel cycle again okay wow it's getting better one two three four okay so uh, P1 P1 is 1 bar P2 is 32.42 bar expansion ratio is 8 that is V4 by V3 is 8 okay gamma is 1.4 it's given you have to find R that is compression ratio which is equal to V1 by V2 and you have to find rho which is cutoff ratio which is v3 by v2 okay so as this is a 
1 to 2 process is isentropic compression and P1 is also given P2 is also given so can I write P1 V1 raised to power gamma is equal to P2 V2 raised to power gamma what we can find from this equation we can find this V1 by V2 because we know P1 we know P2 we know gamma so V1 by V2 will be 11.99 okay this becomes R let this be equation 1 oh, and let this be equation 2 so if I divide 1 by 2 what I will get I will get v1 by v2 into v3 by v4 okay by dividing it can I cancel out v1 and v4 yes because it is a constant volume process so that leaves me with v3 by v2 what is this v3 by v2 this is rho okay which is equal to 11.99 upon 8 okay solve this this will be 1.498 you get rho now so you have r you have gamma you have rho what are you waiting for put the values in this formula and get the answer as it will be 59.59 percent I'm directly writing it in percentage because you have to fill the answer in percentage okay next question air enters a diesel engine with a density of 1 kilogram per meter cube the compression ratio is 21 at steady state the air intake is 30 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 kilogram per second that is this is mass flow rate m dot the net work output is 15 kilowatt okay the mean effective pressure in kilopascal kilopascal you have to write we know that mean effective pressure into swept volume is equal to work done however see the units of the work output it is actually 15 kilowatt that is 15 kilojoule per second so here I will have to take the volume swept per second okay and this will be W dot or work output is uh, work output in kilowatt is actually power okay so this will be in a volume swept per second okay uh, let's draw this PV diagram isentropic compression expansion constant volume constant pressure heat addition one two three four okay now uh, this will be volume swept from the diagram from the graph we can see this this will be v swept okay so can I write v dot s as v1 dot minus v2 dot dot okay right. now what is v1 dot v1 dot is mass flow rate of air intake upon density yes this is the basic formula this will be m dot upon rho density of uh, air so v1 dot is what v1 dot we get as 30 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter cube per second because the density is 1 kilogram per meter cube okay so this is 30 into 10 to power minus 3 meter cube per second can I find v2 dot yes I can find v2 dot because we have been given with the compression ratio so v1 dot by v2 dot is equal to 21 great so v2 dot is equal to 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube per second upon 21 that is compression ratio which is equal to 1.4 to 8 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube per second okay so we have v1 dot we have v2 dot that is volume swept per second we can find this out which will be v1 dot minus v2 dot this will be 23.572 n to 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube per second okay now 
you have this uh, 15 kilowatt network output V dot S you have found out that implies MEP mean effective pressure will be 525 kilopascal after you put the values okay uh, this was a nice question so you see the benefits of taking care of the units okay in this question so uh, the next question is a rope brake dynamometer attached to the crankshaft of an IC engine measures a brake power of 10 kilowatt power is given as 10 kilowatt when the speed of rotation of the shaft is 400 radian per second that is Omega the shaft torque in Newton meter Newton meter not kilo Newton meter sensed by the dynamometer basic formula power is equal to T Omega directly formula based question basic formula T into 400 solve this T will be 25 Newton meter you have to put the power in watt because here you need shaft torque in Newton meter okay so T will be 25 Newton meter after you solve it okay for the same values of peak pressure peak temperature and heat rejection the correct order of efficiency is for auto dual and diesel cycle is okay uh, solve these questions by constructing the PV diagram of all the cycles okay. oh, I have to draw it very carefully here so this is the diesel cycle isentropic compression okay drawing it very slowly oh this is a rough uh, PV diagram of diesel cycle now we we need the same value of peak pressure okay so can I say in this this will be the auto cycle or, or let me change the color of the pen uh, let's take this as blue so this for the same peak pressure this will be the auto cycle this 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 part this part will be the auto cycle okay let me change the color again for the dual cycle I will take this color now for the same peak pressure this will, will be the dual cycle okay let me number them for better clarity 1 2 3 4 this is auto uh, sorry diesel cycle 1 2 3 4 is diesel cycle 1 1 2 dash 3 4 this will be auto cycle okay and 1 double two dash two double dash sorry this is three dash three dash three and four this will be the dual cycle and for the same heat rejection okay heat rejection in all the cycles is same we have drawn drawn the heat rejection equal for all the cycles so from the this this PV graph can you say that the compression ratio for the diesel cycle is the largest or is the greatest yes V1 by V2 is the greatest and this compression ratio belongs to diesel cycle so as the compression ratio of the diesel cycle for the same peak pressure peak temperature and heat rejection is greater efficiency of diesel cycle will be greater than efficiency of dual cycle and it will be greater than efficiency of auto cycle always try to solve these questions these type of questions by making this rough PV diagram of all the cycles